Welcome back. All new tonight, some students and parents in Pasco County are in a huff over homecoming. Yes, yeah, some expressing their frustrations over new changes that has the big dance and the big game sharing the same night. Alex Hobson brings us this story from Holiday, all new at 11. Well, a football game just wrapped up here at Anclote High not too long ago, and this was a big talker with folks zoning in on the October date. I'm extremely frustrated. Football season has begun, and at Anclote High, they're starting to advertise homecoming 2014. But some students have already noted an overlap. This year, the big homecoming game falls on the same night as the big homecoming dance. Who wants to do that and then go to a dance? After they've played for hours, I'm sure they're going to be exhausted. Christina Fagley's 10th grade daughter plays in the high school band, and because of that, she fears she won't be able to attend this year's dance. So she reached out to us for help. But when we went to the school district, we learned this wasn't an oversight. Turns out the school's principal planned the calendar this way, hoping to erase the mini prom reputation homecoming has. She believes that by making it more casual and having it the same night as the football game that more kids will be able to come and they don't have to worry about all of the, the dresses and the limos and everything. According to the district, the football game would kick off at 7, the casual dance party an hour and a half later, which they believe is enough time for everyone to go, but fakely has doubts, noting that students will still have to pay the same price no matter how long they're there for. So tonight she's holding out hope the principal will have a change of heart. I hope they make the right decision. We checked with the district, and Ann Clote would not be the only school doing this. They tell us both River Ridge and Ridge Wood also have their dances scheduled the same date as their homecoming game. Reporting in Pasco County, Alex Hobson, ABC Action News.